there are a lot of filter options here, but they're all variations on the low pass, high pass, band patch, and notch. Now, these knobs don't move themselves. You have to move them. But you have this cutoff envelope, cutoff LFO, resonance envelope, resonance LFO. Let's jam this cutoff LFO really high. Kind of weird. Let's lower it somewhat. So the behavior of our filter is varying over time. Likewise, we can do that with the resonance. changes over time with the LFO deciding how much it's changing and how fast it's changing. In the same way that the volume LFO causes the volume to change over time. In cutoff, LFO and resonance LFO do those, and likewise you have cutoff envelope and resonance envelope. Now with volume envelope, it's obvious what this amount does. It's a volume. It's affecting the volume of the note by so much. With the cutoff and resonance envelope, the way these knobs actually interact with these frequency and resonance knobs might not be intuitively obvious. The cutoff envelope operates by adding or subtracting to the cutoff value, depending on where the amount is set for the cutoff envelope. This could be anywhere from plus 1500 hertz with the amount at 1 to minus 1500 hertz with the amount at minus 1. The resonance envelope similarly adds or subtracts to the resonance value, but the amount it subtracts is just the envelope amount itself, so it can only be modulating by as much as plus one or minus one. Again, to get this spectrum analyzed, you just add an effect on the effect stack that's a spectrum analyzer effect. The spectrum analyzer effect doesn't do anything to the sound. All it does is give you a control window that shows you stuff about the sound. If we open one of the existing presets, Let's look at how this SE guitar preset I've used before uses its envelopes. So its bass wave is being generated by triple oscillator. It's a much more complicated wave that varies a little over time already. But past there we're going into here and it has a volume envelope, a cutoff LFO, and it's not doing anything with the resonance envelope or LFO. So this has a cutoff LFO. That's how it was set when I loaded the preset. If we turn this all the way on, and if we turn it all the way off, now you might notice the sound is still varying over time. Because the stuff going on, it's an effect stack that's also varying it over time. But the variation isn't the same as when it had that going on and this. Let's make this faster just for hearing it different. So you can load a preset and just go into these LFOs and envelopes, see what's there, and modify it, and that will modify the sound of your instrument. Even without knowing exactly why the preset is there doing what it does, 
You can see the filter is turned on, so these do something. This LFO is turned on, so it does something. What happens if I change the knobs? Let's hear it. And a lot of the time, if you just want an instrument that's a little different from a built-in instrument, just to give it a little bit more of your own personal touch to it, that's something you can do. You can do that to the plug-in knobs too in many cases. But for LFOs, you know, an LFO is always changing something about the sound over time. And for the volume, it's changing the volume over time. Cut off of resonance is changing the filter behavior over time. So these are knobs that you can manipulate on any given preset that has them and get a different sound. And when you're making your own sound from scratch, these are ways you can make your sound change over time while you're holding the note. Now there are these remaining tabs, Funk and FX. And I've hinted at the function of the FX tab. I've shown you how to use it to bring up a spectrum. I haven't talked about the Funk tab at all yet. And of course, those are things I will talk about in the very near future. But I'm going to conclude this video now, having finished the N slash LFO tab. Goodbye.